Hi everyone, this is part two of acclimating your dog to a muzzle or gentle leader or a halty. Um, this is Sadie. She's not a super huge fan of the gentle leader, but she does a good job with it. We spent a lot of time teaching her that the gentle leader was an okay thing to have on her face. <laughs> Come here as she runs away. Come on. Come on. Good girl. All right, so I'm going to hook her to her collar here while I show you guys how to put the gentle leader on. So, come here. In the first video, you guys learned how to acclimate your dog to the muzzle or gentle leader. Um, this is the video on how to take them on a walk with it. So, with the gentle leader, it's got two clips. You're going to hold those two clips. And then on this, you're going to pull the center piece up. It goes on their nose. They're going to love it going on their nose because you've acclimated it to them. She shows her teeth when we do it. Then it's going to clip right up behind their ears. There's like their skull and then there's some muscle down there. You want it right up behind the ears, right by the base of the skull. And you want it a little bit tighter than you would probably have a regular collar so that if the nose piece comes off, you still have a hold of their um, neck. So then you're going to take your leash and you're going to clip it under here. And if you can see, it's fit so that she can open her mouth all the way. A lot of times it looks like a 90 degree angle. It just kind of depends on the shape of the dog's head. Um, she can still drink, bite, bark, do anything she wants with it on. Come here. <laughs> so when you first put it on them with the pressure of the leash on the underside, just treat them and try to keep it loose and see if you can't get them to come with you. Say hey. Good girl. If they start to fuss with it, just feed them treats and see if you can get them over it. If they fuss too much, then you haven't done enough of the acclimation process. Come here. Then you want to start, when they're comfortable with that, maybe in the next training session, you want to start pulling on it. Yes. And then they get a treat whenever they get in. And now this is just gentle pressure, it's not a pop. Yes, good girl. Teaching her how to use it. Yes, good girl. Yes. And when you get them good inside doing this, you want to practice it outside. And then when they get really good, she found a treat. Come here, Sadie. You'll start putting them where you want them to walk and taking them on a walk. Come on. Over here. Let's go. Yes. Good girl. Come here. Now, when you go from in the house to outside, a lot of times the, the, they might fuss with it a little bit more than they would have. And you want to um, raise the um, excitement of the treat that you're giving them. And if they fuss too much, then you need to go back in the house and practice some more, teaching them how to get into it. Yes, good girl. She's very slow and deliberate about everything. Um, The gentle leader is a really cool tool when it comes to walking them. It keeps the pressure off of their neck so that we're not pulling on their trachea. With her, it helps me, especially if we're gonna be around other dogs. She does it, she likes her own bubble. And so this lets me keep control of her teeth if she decides that a dog's gotten into her bubble too much. Um, I use it for happy dogs. I use it with dogs that lunge and bark on a leash. Um, we do the same acclimation process. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer, um, but you just get them happy or tolerant <laughs> of it, and um, then enjoy your walk with them. If you have any questions, you can always give us a call. Uh, the one thing I know I didn't mention in this video is you wanna keep the leash on this side of you between you and your dog, not on that side when you're walking. So keep it there, and then when you walk, they're there. All right, thank you guys, we'll see you next time.